What is up YouTube, Supreme Builds family, how you guys doing? I'm here today to bring you guys a quick video for the Shield 7.2.1 experience upgrade. Let's see what it's about. We just did 7.2 not that long ago. So point one is probably just a couple of bug fixes they found in 7.2, but we're gonna find out right now. Let's see what it has, what it does, and if there's anything useful in there for you guys. I'm gonna kick over to the Shield real fast. Here we go. I have it on my screen right now, so I will take it live with you guys. Let's get it cracking. So let's look at the details real quick. What's new? This was part of 7.2 right here. All of this Alexa stuff, Amazon Music. Um, this was all here already. So it doesn't look like there's anything. These games were listed last time as well. Um, What is there? Let's see, other enhancements. So there may be a new... Uh, <clears throat> monthly Android security update could be possible from the last one. Quick customize was there as well. Adds option to auto upgrade shield. Um, adds support for SMB v3. I know there was a fix for this. That the SMB v3 was having some issues. It definitely did a fix for SMB v3. Um, the sleep idle USB drives was not showing up before, so hopefully that's fixed. So settings, storage, and reset sleep drives on idle. We'll take a look. Um, the Bluetooth LE privacy was already there. And it does not look like the controller versions are changed. So it doesn't really show you um, anything different. I think what they did was they fixed um, some of the things that just weren't working uh, in the first update or you know gave a couple of bug fixes for it. So let's go back. Let's restart this to install. And we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Take a look at a couple of the settings afterwards. I won't go into any of the apps. See the 7.2 upgrade video if you guys want to see the apps. I'll link it at the end of this video because um, I did went over those, but I didn't find any of those apps worthwhile because they were all paid. Like I wanted to check out a couple of the streaming ones, but they were like 10 bucks a month each. And to me, it wasn't really worth it <clears throat> for what they were giving you. All right, so the shield is shutting off. Coming back on in a second. Here we go. Upgrading your shield experience. This one was already downloaded on here. It did it, I guess, while it was sleeping. So I didn't get to see the actual download size, but I can tell you by the install time it's taking right now, it's way smaller than the 7.2 upgrade. So it's definitely just some bug fixes from whatever they found in 7.2. So I would highly suggest if you're already on 7.2, definitely take this upgrade and hopefully it fixes any issue you might've been having if you were on 7.2. I've been on 7.2 on my living room shield and I don't actually have any issues with it. Um, that I've noticed, although I did not see the actual storage sleep option for the external drives. Um, but that may be because my drive is set up as internal. I'm not sure. I'm going to look at that right now and see if it shows up. I don't think I should be able to sleep the internal drive as well, honestly. So it should start up right after this one here. Definitely a bug fix release. Here we go, so it, I found this here. It's a minor update addressing a few issues that have come up from the previous upgrade, which is what I figured. Uh, EU resolves five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection issues for Shield TV 2015 and Shield Pro models. Um, resolves port blocking issue with smart things on Shield. Fixes issues some, fixes some issues where USB storage is not detected on active hubs. Removes erroneous error message when canceling NAS connection attempt. Removes warning displayed incorrectly when connecting Shield TV mobile app to Shield. And some third-party wired game controllers were not functioning properly. Um, so it says known issues and limitations as of right now. All right. Um, and it says we are working on known issues and expect to have an update soon for those. 
PS3 controllers not currently supported over wireless, some issues playing .ts video files, connection from PC to shield folders limited to SMB v1, um, rare cases where system seems to hang on startup, full dynamic range setting not working as expected. It's available under display options when color mode is set to RGB. Occasional audio loss on Kodi slash SPMC MRMC during HDMI hot plug. Issues with PUBG mobile mouse accuracy. Color display accuracy, accuracy issues on Chrome slash Puffin browser. I noticed some people were talking about that, that the Chrome seemed to be super bright and some casting apps. So they're saying that's still an issue. Um, issues getting correct installation build on rooted and unlocked devices enable provide full system upgrades in developer settings. Shield 2015 and Shield Pro SD card not recognized after your 7.2 upgrade. Um, connection issues when mounting the NAS to the shield. Hopog EU tuners model 1590 not working. And some TV receivers wake up after 30 seconds of shield sleeping. Uh, last one is green line displayed at bottom right with specific content aspect ratio. And it says they are actively working on those issues and expect to have another update soon. So let's see if this uh, 7.2.1 does anything here. I'm going to go up to my settings real quick. I'm going to move over to this side just so I'm not in the way. Um, I do want to see storage and reset. And if I go to the Samsung USB drive, yeah, it, so I guess it's only if it's external because I don't see the option to make that drive go to sleep here still. And that's not listed as a bug that's not fixed. So this is internal storage and I'm guessing that it does not allow, so USB port one, unplug any devices and try again. Whoops. And transfer files over local network. Log in on a network, connect to computer with this. Yeah, I don't need to do that. All right, so that's it. It's not really anything big here, guys. All right, keep it as short and simple as possible. This is not, this is just a bug fix. So you see there 7.2.1. And I'm already a developer, so I don't need to do that. Um, that's really it. There's nothing in here that I need to look at. If you were having issues with five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection on 2015 Shields or Shield Pro, this fixed that. It resolved some port blocking issue with smart things on the Shield. Um, USB storage is not detected on active hubs. I don't have any hub uh, plugged into my Shield. I just have the USB storage plugged directly in, so that wouldn't help me any. Um, yeah, nothing else was in here that I could even test. So it's really a small update. I highly suggest you guys take it. Um, that's it guys. It is exactly the same, uh, as it was on 7.2. If you haven't taken 7.2 and you're worried about it, I'm not saying you should take 7.2.1, but if you have taken 7.2 already, you should definitely take 7.2.1 and then any other 7.2 updates as they should only aim to fix bugs for you. All right, back to the live webcam. Uh, merry day after Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. I hope everybody had a great one. I'm off to work now, so I will talk to you guys later. As always, stay supreme. Be safe. Have a re uh, happy rest of your holiday season. I may see you guys before New Year's. If not, I'll see you guys right after. Take care, guys. Be good. Be safe. One love. Peace out. Stay supreme.